What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing the MFR Engineering rear diffuser on the uh, Challenger, uh, 2009 Challenger. But for the most part, I think this install is the same for almost all Challengers. So this version of the rear diffuser is for the wide bodies and I'll show you where the diffuser meets the uh, fender flares in the rear. Now I started installing the splitter uh, before I started filming because I didn't know how I was going to go about it. Uh, but you guys will see all that in the video. So enjoy. All right guys, so I found the best way to start this project is to actually remove the entire rear uh, bumper cover. And the reason that is, is because you have to install these brackets. You have to drill these holes for these brackets right here that hold up the splitter um, and insert some rib nuts. So that's why I did that. And I actually started this by putting the bracket that is supplied that goes between this, uh, it goes right in front of, it goes on this side of the rear diff. And then I put the back of the splitter back there. And as you can see, I taped up the front to uh, hold it in place just so I could get these side brackets mounted. So on the side, there's actually three brackets. I'm gonna show you everything because so I'm gonna take this back off so I can finalize and tighten everything down. But you've got these three brackets right here. So this was pretty slick because it actually bolts up where your exhaust hanger goes. So you don't have to really measure or drill anything. And it's gonna go in like this. So it's gonna go on the underside towards the inside. I haven't drilled that hole out yet, but that's what's next. And you can see up here, I have to clean all this and then I'm gonna drill the holes like you saw on the other side. But these are the two brackets. So towards the front of the car, you're gonna put the, uh, the longer bracket. It goes like that and then bolts right in there and then towards the back of the car, this uh, shorter bracket right there. So it comes with the rib nuts. You're gonna need a rib nut tool. You guys wanna do this job. But what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna unbolt it. No, I lied. I'm gonna insert these uh, brackets right in here. Use the uh, rib nut tool and then drill my holes for the splitter and mount it up there. But then I'm gonna take everything off because I wanna put some um, orange Loctite on all the bolts that I've already installed. And um, I'm almost done, really. So it's these three brackets right here, one, two, three, plus two in the back here that are underneath the splitter. And that's really it. So I'm almost done. And I'll start filming uh, this side for you guys right here. All right, and I haven't filmed it yet, but I'll show you what all the brackets look like underneath the car as well. So this is the best way I could figure out how to video it and do it because I've never done it before and I just kind of had to figure it out. It comes with some instructions, but there's still a lot of little measuring you gotta do to get on there just right. So I'm gonna get these uh, other brackets mounted and then I'm gonna take everything off, show you guys what it looks like underneath the car. And then I'm gonna put some uh, orange Loctite on all the bolts and then seal everything up and then put my rear bumper back on and see what the final outcome looks like. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I went ahead and I put in the, um, the orange uh, Loctite and the locking washers up here, up there, and I went ahead and put that last bracket right here. I'll show you guys underneath now. So those are the three brackets that sort of go on the side of the uh, Challengers. And, um, but yeah, I tightened everything up and let me show you the other side real quick. So here's the uh, driver's side, same setup. Got two brackets and then the third one right here that wraps up underneath where your spare uh, tire would normally go. So I'm going to show you the, there's only two more brackets. There's two back here in the middle and then there's one back here with two slots um, in the middle. So let me get under, underneath there and show you guys. All right, so what's cool about this bracket, these two little ones right here, let's see if I can get this to focus in, is that that nut right there is actually a factory mounting point for the uh, rear bumper. So there's no guesswork. You don't have to uh, drill any more holes underneath here. This is those two go right there. Now, up here, you got that bracket that I've been, it's a little brighter. So up here, you 
you've got this long bracket that wraps up underneath, uh, like I said, where the spare tire would go. And it just goes right where the exhaust hanger is. So you get this bracket on both sides as well. And it's probably the easiest one to uh, install. So there's only one more bracket left to show you all. And it's this one right here. As you can see, it goes right in front or behind towards the back of the car of the uh, rear diff. So you've got to drill two holes um, and you've got to insert some uh, rib nuts, nut certs, and then you can put the hardware. So I did the same thing. I put the uh, washer, the locking nut, and some orange uh, Loctite in there as well. So those are all the brackets. I just have these two drills to, uh, holes to drill, but I can drill them from underneath um, once I mount the rest of them all up. So that's what I'm about to do right now is put the uh, splitter on. All right, so change of plans. So if you try to put all that together, then you can't put the very back of the rear bumper on those two mounts where it belongs. So since all the holes and everything is already mounted and all the holes are drilled, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put the rear bumper on and then I gotta put those brackets on there last. So I'm gonna let the diffuser dip down a little bit while I do that, put the rear bumper back on and everything else is actually accessible. So that's what I'm gonna do now, kind of working twice, but that's what you gotta do, right? So I'm gonna do that right now. All right guys, so I don't really remember where I left off, but I finished mounting the uh, rear diffuser and I was, I was actually just cruising around and I found this neat little hidden spot. The grass is so tall, it hides you. Um, but I'm gonna give you guys a walk around with the splitter so you guys can, uh, excuse me, the rear diffuser so you guys can check it out. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the uh, chassis mounted rear diffuser from MFR Engineering. It is a hot summer day right now. But I just wanted to give you guys a walk around the car, what it looks like. And now the only thing I really need to do is the uh, chassis mounted front splitter to tie everything in. And then uh, we'll be ready for the uh, Track 9 in America. If it happens, you know, the way the year's been going, everything's kind of been like if it happens. But overall, man, I'm really happy with this thing. It looks killer. It definitely tied in the big uh, wicker bill from MFR as well. Uh, the matte black with the uh, chrome hardware looks really good so I like that it all matches um, I went <laughs> I did a lot of work to get rid of all the chrome on the car but that little bit of chrome adds a nice uh, adds a nice little touch I think now well guys that's it for today so if you guys like these videos hit that like button leave a comment below and if you love these videos hit that subscribe button until next time guys peace out